Hey everybody, welcome back to the cabin. My name is Sean James here from My Self Reliance if you're new to the channel. And this is the first week of January 2019, so Happy New Year. I haven't uploaded any videos on this channel yet this year, and I'm not even sure if I did in December. Um, if you've been following my other channel, you know I've been pretty busy over there doing a, a variety of things. And in my New Year's Day video, I talked about all the things I'm going to be doing here this year at the, at the cabin. Um, so what's different about this channel? Why would you follow this channel instead of just uh, subscribing and following my self-reliance? Well, on this channel, what I try to do is answer a lot more of your questions about how to not only live this lifestyle the way I'm living it now, but also how to, or how I got to this point in my life at uh, 48 years old. I uh, basically retired at 44 and uh, started pursuing this, and then last year really made inroads into this new wilderness lifestyle. Um, some exciting things happened just in the last week that I haven't told anybody, not on my other channel, or uh, even some family members don't know yet, but my wife and I made a significant investment in our future this week that is exciting for our family, our kids, and also for this channel and for anybody who's interested in watching what, what, what we're doing here. Basically, what we've done is... Uh, I don't want to disclose too much, um, give away the surprise because it's going to happen much later in the year, but essentially what we've done is enabled uh, or freed up enough time for me to be basically here every day instead of running into town to do all the shopping and uh, uploading of videos and stuff. So it's all I can say. It, it, it's, um, it's a lot more exciting maybe than it sounds and, and maybe less intriguing than it sounds, but significant change. So what I'm doing here at the cabin, if you're brand new to, the, to both channels, is that I'm setting up this wilderness lifestyle. And in order to do that, what I need is, of course, a, a house, which is the cabin, which I've basically got to the point where it was livable, probably, I would say, spring of 2018. I built this forest kitchen, this outdoor kitchen, so we can do all of our summer cooking out here. Yeah, last summer, so summer 2018. Currently working on this sauna bathhouse which is basically like a full bathhouse with a uh, a shower I guess you could call it in there and uh, and a sauna and little uh, change area and what a sink and stuff like that for brushing teeth and shaving stuff like that so that's basically the the uh, bathroom and then we have the outhouse next to it so essentially getting to the point where it's a fully functioning homestead I have a few more things I'm adding this year like the cellar for food storage, a smokehouse so I can smoke more efficiently the fish and game that I catch. Um, and then later this year I'll be building a workshop so I can get it out of here when it's inclement weather and work in a workshop, proper workshop, probably with a blacksmith shop in there and, and uh, you know, a uh, lathe and stuff like that. All manual tools, but it's much... Uh, as full service woodworking as possible, I guess, and leather craft and all that kind of stuff. I basically want to get to the point where I'm making everything for my life here with as much natural materials as possible. So I think eventually even my clothing I'll be making, my boots, my hats, my tops, uh, jackets, all that kind of stuff. Um, all the furniture, other tools that I need, I'll try to make as many of those as possible. So essentially get to the point where I've replaced all my modern stuff with with older stuff or with uh, traditional hand tools and hand or handmade clothing and stuff like that and getting as much food from the land as possible. So that's the goal up here and like I said we've made some significant um, changes and move in that direction just over the last week and like I said I will tell you more about that. In fact I'll tell you a little bit more now. I'm gonna go over and cut some firewood but I'll, I'll just keep talking to you and tell you what I'm up to or what we've done and what investments we're making right now rather than sticking our money or keeping our money in the stock market which is I think on the verge of collapse again. So talk to you in a minute. Not really crazy about this kind of vlogging style but on this channel like I said I do a lot more talking and explain what I'm up to so I end up uh, it's not as tranquil as my other channel my other videos and I'm explaining a lot more about what I'm doing. But uh, like I said, if you're new to the channel, you can see everything behind me there. It's the sauna, the, the uh, earthen oven is in that smaller building. And the outdoor kitchen, of course, the pavilions for working or cooking 
when the weather's not good. Um, got my little fire pit here, which I do some outdoor cooking on, and that tripod I made a couple of weeks ago to to smoke or uh, dry some jerky from a deer that I shot in December. Um, here's my firewood pile. It's getting down. I do have firewood cut in various places on the property, so I'm going to start hauling that in and replacing what I've gone through here. It hasn't been very cold. It started off um, cold really early this year. In like October it started snowing. Looked like we were in for a really, really bad winter and then it kept snowing and it didn't completely melt, but it ended up being fairly warm. So it hasn't been a brutal winter. So as a result, I haven't gone through all that much firewood. I know it, this time last year, I think it was all of December, it was free, freezing, like well, well below average. And I ended up burning a ton of firewood, but then the rest of the winter wasn't bad at all. So it's not uh, it's not what it used to be like, that's for sure. Uh, so one of the things that I wanted to talk about, like I said, more on this channel is the finance part of what I'm doing. And uh, if you watch this other video from My Self Reliance, there's a full cost analysis of what it costs to build this uh, cabin. All of the things here, mostly the cabin and the property cost and the ongoing cost. This year I promised on that channel to document a lot more of the expenses, the living expenses to continue living this lifestyle. So I'll share some of that here as well, but I can tell you what the cabin cost me and also here's the cost of what it would uh, cost somebody else if they were to buy all the materials from the places that um, I was able to source some of the materials from. So what I just mentioned earlier about the uh, stock market, it's been a lot of, it's been volatile this year. I think it might have ended up, the majority of the stock markets here in North America ended up basically at what they started at the beginning of the year. So they had good gains throughout the year and then lost everything near the end there. And I think it's, we're probably teetering on the edge of another recession like we had in 2008, which as if you've been following along, you know that wiped me out completely. I went from, you know, seven figure net worth down to uh, being $700,000 in debt and had to sell my last, uh, um, had to recover and pay all that money back from the company that went bankrupt or not didn't go bankrupt but went under essentially stopped operating left me personally seven hundred thousand dollars in debt so i paid off that business debt that's what it really was but i was stuck with it and then recovered fully by starting another business and then selling off um, a bigger business that i was partnered with a few guys on but part of that experience of of um starting a company with partners and then selling it to a, a, a public company taught me a lot gave me a lot of inside insight into how the stock market works like i said the company it was public but they actually went public in the middle of the acquisition process so when they were buying our company out they went public to raise the money to pay us out um, what i saw during that phase was absolutely it's pretty well a combination of corruption and, and incompetence and it gave me far less confidence in the stock stock market in general because everything they did was essentially legal but the guy that uh, ran was essentially running the company so the ceo was a nice enough guy but just completely incompetent to the point where they actually gave 17 million dollars to a guy that they were going to buy out, they were going to buy his company out as well. And the whole deal just seemed too good to be true. Well sure, well, sure enough, it was a con. And they literally handed over $17 million to this guy without uh, getting financial st current financial statements from him on the business. So, absolutely ridiculous. That money just completely disappeared, which wiped out my value, wiped out the, uh, the price of the, the uh, value of the shares, so the whole value of the company. And they ended up issuing like 100 million shares in order to keep funding the company to keep it going. So they are still in business. They're still on the stock market. It's down to pennies where it was over a dollar a stock. And uh, it showed me, and I watched the trades happening before and after major events. And I saw how much insider, let's put it this way up. I lost complete confidence in the stock market when I realized what people could legally do, what legally they could get away with. So you're essentially 
gambling when you're putting your money in the stock market unless you're just investing in blue chip stocks like high um, value good quality companies and then you're not making a fortune so anything less than that you really are gambling and I don't think I've ever really done had a great year in the stock market and as a result kind of getting gun shy but right now I'm telling you all the signs are there for a collapse so I'm not interested in keep my money in there bottom line after all that is that basically what we did is removed our money from the stock market and some other investments and we invested in real estate reinvested or invested additional money in real estate um, my girls are at that age they're finished high school they're off to college they're becoming a lot more independent and uh, they were ready to change their lives as much as my wife and I were ready to change their lives so we made the decision in the last week or two to sell the family home after 20 years so essentially they're ready to um, for a change so that's what we've done we've invested in some real estate that allows them and us to pursue our different directions yet still remain a cohesive family that's as much as I can say right now but it's really 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 exciting for the four of us I think it's really exciting for my YouTube channels and it's exciting for this dream that I've always had to live this wilderness lifestyle so you're gonna see a lot more content from me simple for the simple fact that I'll be able to uh, film essentially every day and I don't have to continue driving hours into town to upload videos every every week so there uh, that's the most exciting thing that's happening in 2019 but if you want to like I said follow the other channel but I'll continue to upload videos here as well that give a little bit deeper insight into what's happening with me financially how I got to this point and how I continue to finance this uh, lifestyle and what it's co actually costing me I'm gonna try to keep as much of that off the other channel actually because I think a lot of people there are there to and just to see the lifestyle and to enjoy nature and the tranquility and the and the solitude and the, the beauty of nature and that's the way I like to keep it as well I don't like talking constantly on video I'd like to just put my head down get to work or if I'm canoeing I don't want to be sitting here talking to the camera if I see a beautiful sight or a you know an animal like or a loon calling I don't want you to be looking at my face with the loon in the background I want you to see the loon in all its glory on its own or a moose or wolf or bear or whatever it is so it's it's just not my style but on this channel this is where I talk so if you don't want to just sit in a, at your computer or a, you know, your TV and watch me ramble on then uh, this is probably not a great channel I would suggest just watching the other one instead so lots of uh, lots going on for this year like I said m most exciting year I think of my life and uh, I think an exciting year for my entire family and, and for everybody here on YouTube watching what we're up to. So I appreciate everybody following along and keep checking in here. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I do upload a video. Um, you can check my website. I also post all my videos on the website, uh, Facebook, Instagram. I usually have links to the most current videos that I'm released, uh, that I've recently released. And... Uh, YouTube just keep checking in go to the actual YouTube channel pages and make sure you haven't missed any videos if you're interested and check out the playlist especially um, easier on maybe the other channel to follow a playlist like the forest kitchen you can just watch it from episode 1 through 10 and see the entire build for example and I'll eventually have that kind of uh, format set up here as well anyway cold day beautiful sunny day though so I will get back to work and enjoy the the day so have a great week and i'll see you up at the cabin next time take care